In this video tutorial, you will learn how to fix the internal server error in WordPress. The WordPress internal server error essentially tells you your site cannot be used because something is wrong somewhere, but the system has no clue where. In this video, I will take you through the common causes of this issue and the solutions that have helped many WordPress users get their WordPress websites working again. It is always advisable to do a backup of your site files and database before making any major changes. Now, let's start with the first method. The first method is to check if the HT access file is the source of this error. To do that, log into your cPanel, then click on File Manager. Since I am working on my subdomain, I will look for that folder. If you are working on your main domain, then open this folder called Public HTML. Double click on the folder to open it. Here we have a file called .htaccess. Right click on the file. You can download the file as a backup by clicking here. Then click on Rename. Change the name of this file so your server can no longer read it. Now reload your site. If the error is not fixed by renaming your .htaccess file, then move on to the next method. If it works, it means the source of the error was a corrupt .htaccess file. Next, you would want to create a new .htaccess file. So in your WordPress dashboard, go to Settings, then click on Permalinks. Do not make any changes and just click on Save. Now when you reload your WordPress files in cPanel, you will see that a new .htaccess file is created. Sometimes the WordPress internal server error occurs because WordPress exceeds the allocated PHP memory during runtime. If this happens, it is a sign that maybe a plugin, theme, or script is using too much memory. To check if this is the problem, you would need to increase your PHP memory limit and try loading your WordPress site. Navigate to your WordPress files in cPanel as we did in the first method. Then look for the file name wpconfig.php. Right click on the file. You can download the file as a backup by clicking here. Then click on edit. This pop-up is nothing but a reminder to backup the file. So click on edit again. Scroll down to the bottom of the code. Now copy this line of code. I will link it in the description below. And then paste it right above this line that says, That's all. Stop editing. Happy blogging. Then save the file and close it. Now try refreshing your site to see if this fixes the issue. If it does, great. We now know that the issue is WordPress running out of memory. However, we still need to find out why this is happening. In most cases, it will be a plugin or a team that is causing this issue. So delete the code that we entered in this method. And then disable your plugins using cPanel. We have a video on how to disable plugins using cPanel. I will link it in the description below. If your issue is resolved, then the problem was a plugin. Go on and activate the plugins one by one until you encounter the error again. Then you would have pinpointed the plugin causing the issue. If the plugin is not the issue, then your team might be causing the error. You can disable your team using cPanel. We have a video explaining this as well. If none of these steps fix the issue, then either your core files are corrupted 
or there may be a problem with your hosting service. So you can try contacting your host. This is how you can fix the internal server error in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.